Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to discuss the famous jerry cans. Um, now I'm going to keep this simple because you could spend weeks talking about these and there's a loads of information if you want to go further and all these sort of living history I call them films that I do. Um, anyway, so brand new jerry can, £30 in Clark's Machine Mart. All right, decent quality. Um, so, probably wondering where did the invention of these things come from? We went to the 30s, Germany, Spanish Civil War, brought out prototypes in, I think it was 36 or 37, put into mass production. That is a genuine jerry can. Jerry spelt J or a J. Um, it was a nickname the Allies gave for these cans. We were called Tommies. Uh, they were called Jerry's. <laughs> that's where it's kind of stuck. So that's a genuine. There you go. So they also have. Um, bar tabs on them so they can put there's ones that were made marked for water wasn I uh, also had a white cross in them so they were used for water engine oil diesel petrol other liquids as well if needed they were um, plastic coated inside so they could be used for drinking water is what controlled the desert war if you didn't have fuel, you weren't going anywhere. And these transformed the desert war. And as Germany ran out of fuel, it was a cat and mouse game. The British advancing started capturing these cans and they seen the genius design that they are. What you have is a lockable catch, which then hinges down. So when you pour, it doesn't spill. By the way, this can is 1940 and I'm still using it, it still works. This is the genius of these things. They're still in use 80 plus years after they were made. They have a breather here. They take 20 litres of petrol. There you go. And it leaves an air gap. Now this has two functions. It allows fast pouring into a large fuel container right on the Jeep, which I'll demonstrate when we're out and about. And also, so you can dump fuel very quick. And um, there's another reason for that. We need to go out for a drive in Jeep, so I can show you that. Very, very clever. So, design features, double folded, welded. So the seams are basically protected. So if you look at the photos here of the British cans, these rectangle, tall cans that we used, they were all stacked on lorries and they all got shaken around, split, leaked, disaster. As soon as the British seen these, they knew they were onto something and uh, basically this could be dropped by parachute in the desert to refuel. Lots of things you can do with them. You could put, um, for instance, three of them could get tied onto a dispatch motorbike through convoys to scout cars or any, anything water as well needed to take forward the front lines using dispatch bikes so they can be parachuted which also included being into water we'll get to that when we go out of the jeep and um, very clever as well so I'll just find my so this is a 1945 war department British can and it has the F50 Civi Gas um, WD with the government arrow. B&B is the manufacturer. Now there's loads of contract companies made these. Uh, and Britain went into hyperdrive manufacturing these for the Allied landings because it was all about fuel. If you wouldn't get fuel after you got that beachhead, you weren't going anywhere to keep things moving. So if you look at the jerry cans, 
separate and basically near identically copied it. So clever things about Jerry Can. These, these handles are really strong. So they, as I say, they can take a knock and a batter in. And look at the dents on this one. Still use this one. This is just, I took this off the Jeep today and emptied it for this film. So when you carry a Jerry Can, your arms are straight. So you'll walk all day carry something like that. Try walking my five gallon drum out of the side, a round drum, and you soon get a sore arm. So when they're empty, one soldier can carry four, two in each hand. They can also run a pole through them. So they can put six on a, two, a big pole, walk between two guys, loads of ways. They can get stacked on the sides. You'll see the photos of them stacked in the army lorries like that. They're on tanks, they're on jeeps, and uh, absolutely fantastic design. Now, the originals haven't been beaten on, on design. The Americans wouldn't copy the Germans, and they went for their own design with this large screw cap. This required a tool and a pourer. Well, the jerry can original and the British copied one, that will pour straight into a jeep in a three inch pourer so and these were weaker as well so these are a bit flawed compared to the original that the british also copied which is a bit of a shame so that's 1950s 60s us army one um post-war post british army continued to use them Right up, here we go, here's our 1988 Bellin, um British can, there you go, it's a diesel in it. So this is great, they put a tab on so the guys know what's in them. Uh, yeah, 1988, government. Uh, still the same, same design. And, and how much do you pay for these? Depending on the manufacturer contract, you'll pay 60 quid, or 40 to 60 quid for a German can, same for a British can, American cans, 20, 30, 40 quid. I picked up recently for 20 pound down at Trevor's or a Navy store. This is the French option. Now, if you have a look here, this had, this is filled with 20 litres of fuel. This is a wider filler and it's an uh, external breather to the back bit. So this actually pours faster than those, which I'll demonstrate when we're out in the Jeep. But it needs filled up, so we'll just use this to fill. And uh, that was 20 pound. And you can see it's still got the same internal seams. Internal seams. Now I'll show pictures of cans you shouldn't buy. Go to go outdoors and you'll see the cans with a horrible seam. Seams that stick out, they'll get hit, they'll split, they'll leak. Disaster. Here's another modern can. It's not too bad to use this one for diesel. Um, but the quality. Have a look at the, the new cans, look at the rust on them. They've just not got the build quality of those. Definitely not. There we go, just a bit tight. Right, see you out in the beautiful countryside.
Right, just for the record. That's oh, brimming, 20 litres of fuel. So let that evaporate before we put it in the water. Don't want to pollute anything. So, lastly, just to show There's how quick you can fill the jerry can so you can see the breather pipe working. The genius invention. That is the World War II dirty cat. Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. We've uh, education on the jerry can. Um, let me know if any other info you know about them. It's a massive field of interest. So many um, makes of cans and variations. All part of the history of it. Um, so, see you all again soon for another similar film. Leave your comments, likes. Be nice to hear from you. Thanks for watching, bye for now. Oh, I'm not going through that because it's far too deep. I went through a couple of weeks ago, we nearly got swept off. Bye.